rainy day in Milwaukee and it's windy as shit. Have you ever wanted to buy merchandise that you have to hide whenever friends visit your house or cosplay in a hotel room that smells like poop? Then try a furry convention. Hey mom, at least I'm not doing drugs. Now for the good stuff. Awesome. Hey everybody, Giorgio here. And if you know me, you know that I love a good furry convention. Most people are really accepting of that fact, but if you're somebody like, oh, I don't know, a hiring manager, you might look at my hobby and ask me, aren't you a little too old for this before you inform me that I didn't get the job? But my answer is no. I'm an adult, I'm a tax-paying American citizen, and I go to furry conventions, goddammit, and it's because adulthood sucks. Everything in this world is drab and corporate gray these days, and if I try to tell somebody that Bowser is clearly sexier than Ganondorf, they file a human resource sources complaint, whatever the fuck that is, and then somebody reprimands me for being inappropriate. Adulthood is colorless and boring and cold and sad, and in the midst of that loneliness, sometimes I just want to be childish and play with my imaginary stuffed animal friends. And mine are better than an average Build-A-Bear or Beanie Baby. They talk, they're adult size, they give me hugs, and they'll even engage me in conversations about my sex life and drink alcohol with me. Think of the movie Ted if Ted were a slutty dragon with D-cup boobs. Welcome to Sesame Street. We're going to talk about shapes. Ready? Circle. Got it? I have so much fun at furry conventions. And if you're an adult like me, you should attend them too. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to show you some of the fun things I did last weekend at my favorite furry convention in the beautiful city of Milwaukee. Now, now, Baby, look at that sucker. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. If there was an orange there, that shit would be in half. Hey, doggy, you're so cute. You're so pretty. Look at the hugs. Look at you. You're so colorful. Oh my gosh. You're like a neon sign on cocaine. Right about now. Can I give you a boop? May I give you a boop? Boop. And you, you too. Don't think I forgot about you. You're so cute. Right about now. Long soul brother. Right about Look at this squeaky now. guy. Look at this squeaky dude. Now, now. Look at Mr. McSolo Cup over here. This is like the Met Gala. How fun. Over here, do a little twirl if you would be so kind. Million You're so beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me, did you know that there's a cutie looking at their phone right now? All right, this is Giorgio coming to you live from First Squared. We're going to determine the election results. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Will they re-elect Joe Biden? Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Come on! Hold Joe! Hold Joe! Excuse me, did you know that there's a cutie looking at their phone right now? Services, amenity, elevator, curtains with sticks. Other hotels provide relaxation, luxury, and romance. Our rooms provide every comfort required by law. And breakfast means morning here at Business Garden Inn and Suites and Hotel Room Inn. Fill up on all your continental breakfast favorites like mm. <laughs> DIY waffle. DIY 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 waffle. DIY, DIY, waffle. DIY, DIY, waffle. DIY waffle. 
Hi, my name is Thomas, and welcome back to the Game Show Network. This is Iggy's $25,000 Pyramid, and here's how this game works. Alkali Bismuth and Boozy Badger are going to help Giorgio get the phrase that Iggy thought of using his brain. They cannot say any part of the phrase in the clues that they give to Giorgio, because if they do, I'll be really upset. <laughs> Describe these features and objects we view from a great distance from our own eyes instead of a graphics card via an isotropic filtering, which makes distant objects sharper, especially things we see as animals in the wild. What the hell did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I left my little subdued. Here we go. Here we go. No, don't read it again. Okay. <laughs> Blank crisis. Uh, I'm a furry, Mid so life? I am. Uh, no <laughs> <laughs> and I am a man person. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you Fail are... your motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are not messy, but you are, that means that you must be clean, you are... Sanitary, hygienic, uh, uh, In the 80s, they would use this, hey, you're really... Uh, spiffy? Sp other one. Spiffy? Pass. What? Spiffy? <laughs> There's a black robe, John. Hold on! Whoa! Giorgio, how old are you? <laughs> 22. <laughs> <laughs> and you look pretty spiffy. The fuck you think we did that? <laughs> Yow! I get it cracking like a bad back. Bitch talking she the queen when she cranked that shit up, would ya? I'm Angelina, you Jennifer. I wish I wish I wish I wish I wish I wish I I'm going to see how many cuts I can solicit in, let's say, 45 seconds. All right, y'all, Giorgio here, and real quick before I go, for fear of changing subject too harshly, hey, guess what, Gabos? Marianne Williamson is back in the Democratic presidential primary, and if you haven't heard of her, hey, you're my audience. You guys are largely made up of homosexuals. This chick got her start in her career founding a service to deliver meals to AIDS patients back when politicians were saying that you couldn't touch them or you'd contract the disease. Uh, I love this bitch. I'll be voting for her in the primary, and I wholeheartedly endorse her. So, Marianne, if you get a 0.01% boost in the polls, that's my 1,500 subscribers. You're welcome, sweetheart. Goodbye. How are you going to beat Trump's dark psychic force? With love. Let me tell you something. Only light casts out darkness and only love casts out hatred. He has collectivized hatred. You know, Jerry Kushner said to his father-in-law uh, before they ran, he said, there are a lot of angry people out there. We could harness all that and make you president. And when I read that, I thought to myself, there's so much dignity out there and decency and goodness in people. We could harness all that and change the world. What's the best way to utilize the power of love, in your opinion? Forgive somebody.